This module will describe the main functional components of Winchell Model. When we open Winchell Modeler, we get to see the Model Editor. And this consists of different panes as part of the user interface. There are ribbon toolbars across the top, and then browsers for packages, relationships, OSLC information. There's also a main diagram window right in the center of the application. There's a pane for properties, so when you select an item in the browser or on a diagram, the properties pane will show you information for that item. There's also additional contents and report output panes. And a, there's also a quick access toolbar at the top. The different ribbon toolbars that are available. First of all, there is a home. And this is where a lot of the high frequency commonly used functions are available. Then there's a manage toolbar. So the, on the manage tab, we have model management and administration type functions. There's a tab to locate and search information called find. There are diagram specific tabs. So depending on what type of diagram that's open, there's a dedicated specific toolbar for that diagram. There's a tools tab that shows and allows access to all of the main tools and subcomponents of Modeler. There's a review tab, and this allows you to access the model review functions that are available. Similarly, there's a simulation tab and a view tab where you can control the user interface. All of the similar functions have been grouped together for convenient, easy access for users. One of the extra applications that's provided with Winchell Modeler is called the Model Explorer. And this allows you to see databases and all of the existing models that you have access to. You can use it to create new models, create new versions of models, create sandboxes, perform other functions such as cloning, exporting, reconcile, differencing. You can also delete models here. And you'll note from the uh, the graphic that you can actually see the different versions of models that are available as well. As well as accessing and managing models, you can manage servers, databases and access permissions in this tool. For managing licenses, we have another component called the Winchell Modeler License Manager. So this can be used for node locked local file based licenses and server based licenses using FlexNet. You can use this tool to add and replace new licenses. You can also use it to request licenses from ptc.com. This component is the web interface. So this allows read only access to windshield modeler models through a web browser. It's a very simple, easy user interface and perfect for the extended enterprise to access system and software model information. We have another tool called the Variant Selector, and this is used to select variants when variability has been defined within a model. So essentially, we get to choose the different variability options that we want in our product model. We capture these in a decision set, and then we can create a version of the model, a product model, based on those decision sets. So the product model represents in that sense, a, a final configured design, or it may be one step on the phase to the final design. So we have the down selection from 150% model to 125% model, and then another step to 100% fully configured design. Another tool that we have available is called Windshield Modeler Reviewer. And this is used to review models for correctness and completeness. So it tests the definition, the designs in the model to, so that they're compliant with standards and um, meta model standards such as SysML, UML, or OSLC. 
You can configure reviews and you can write custom user-defined reviews. When they get executed, we get a table of results that shows all of the stats of model items that have passed or failed that review. You can then click into and see more detail on each of those reviews and then navigate to the model item so that you can then make any changes to the designs that are needed. Publishers is a tool that we have where we can essentially export the contents of models and bring them into Word, HTML or XML. So it's a way of exporting and capturing up model content, model information that can then be provided to other stakeholders and parties, possibly as part of some regulatory compliance initiative or approval standards body. Some other components we have are OSLC client for digital product traceability, allowing us to connect to other design systems, design tools, and create traceability relationships with information in those systems. We can facilitate reuse of components using the component sharing wizard. We have components for code generation and reversing, ACS, automatic code synchronization. SciSim and model center integration for model simulation. We support model driven IoT with an integration for PTC ThingWorks, our IoT platform. We have synchronizers for requirements management tools, RVNS and DORTS, and a windshield exporter, which allows us to create eBOMs in windshield PLM based on the systems model and the block structure hierarchy in windshield modeler. So for those completing this as a uh, training course, we can go through these steps, launch Modeler, view the start page, and review the different functions that are promoted there. Take a look at the Getting Started Guide, which is visible from that home page, and review the, the main sections. This gives you a really quick introduction in how to open models, view models, items, and diagrams. And then look at the help icon and search for a topic called Components of Modeler and read this help topic to learn about other components that are provided with Windshield Modeler. This concludes this module.